Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of We Bowling Over Here. Yes, sir. Really want to thank y'all for all the support y'all keep giving. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's get into it. Tick, 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 tick. Y'all hear that, man? That's time. Time's running out. I don't know, I don't know. It's getting harder. And they're going on a four-game West Coast trip? What? Oh, my gosh. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. We balling over here, sponsored by Agari TV. Let's get into it, man. Time is running out for the Toronto Raptors. After coming off of a loss to the Brooklyn Nets of 116-103, to the Raptors now head on the road to take on the Denver Nuggets. And folks, we are running out of time. The Raptors don't have many games left. In fact, they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 games left. And this is kind of crazy. Um, you know, we're hoping to be one of the teams that make it into the play-in tournament. But uh, as I said, time is running out. And we need some urgency on the Raptors. You know, I'm not going to be too upset about the Brooklyn loss because obviously Brooklyn is a good team. And there is potential that would be the team that we would play if we finished uh, either 7th or 8th. So it's a good test to see what we can do against a good team and what would happen potentially if we saw them in the first round. And, you know, watching the game, it wasn't a blowout. To be honest with you, Raptors had the lead most of the game. It's just in the fourth quarter, they just took over. They beat us 36 to 20. You're not going to win much games like that with you not performing in the fourth quarter like that. So, all in all, it wasn't the Raptors' best game, but it wasn't the worst. As I said, it, there's a lot to build off of. There's a lot of um, progression that came from the game from certain players. You know, we'd like to see our stars such as uh, Fred Van Fleet and Pascal have a better game. They were shooting horribly from the field all night. And, you know, one thing I was encouraged by with the game was for Pascal to finally, well, not to say finally, but seeing Kevin Durant up close and personal, you know, there's a difference between like, um, watching film, you know, to be honest, if you look at it, Raptors almost haven't played KD in two years, other than that game where he did come back for a little bit and he put free me because the NBA took him out for the COVID protocols. But there hasn't been much Kevin Durant playing against the Raptors, even in the NBA finals, he was missing majority of the time. So, I don't think a guy like Pascal, who says he patented his game off of Kevin Durant, got a chance to really play him as much as he needed to. So it was good for him to get that experience of playing against KD and seeing his game up close, because I do believe KD can teach him a lot of things. And I do believe Pascal is trying to patent his game off of Kevin Durant. So Pascal, I hope you got a learning lesson yesterday and hopefully you can improve on that and become a better player. So that was one good positive I'd like to take away from there. Um, along with Kyrie and, and, and Kyle Lowry and also for Fred, you know, being amongst or going against one of the top guards in the league, it's always good to get in that position. Sorry about that. Get in that position because it allows you to, you know, judge your skills, see where you're at, and, um, yeah, just see where you personally are at that time and place. So that was all good even for Malachi Flynn. Coming off the bench, getting a chance to go up against one of the best guards in the league. And it gives you an opportunity to put yourself in that position and see how you can match up with him. So that was good. He got a nice steal off of him. I remember when he first came in. But all in all, it just wasn't Raptors uh, night last night. Um, you know, we could have done a lot more, stopped certain players. But hey, tough loss, but you learn from it. And now we move on to play the Denver Nuggets. Denver Nuggets. Wow. One of the top teams in the Western Conference. Currently in the fourth position. Raptors will play them tomorrow night. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the Raptors do against the Denver Nuggets. Because, as I said, we are at a desperation time. Like, it's, it's time to be desperate. Every win counts. Every win is needed. Every win is like a must win. I mean, if we're trying to get into the 11th, 10th, you know, 9th position, yeah, that's where we need to make sure we're getting our wins. So, 
and as I said, Raptors, a lot of good things to take away from the game. Yes, there was bad, but there was a lot of good things to take away. And I guess let me give a little prediction. If we can go, I'm going to say 7-3 and three over the next 10 games. I think that should allow us to maybe edge into the 11th or 10th spot, which gives us an opportunity to get into the play-in. And you know what? Any team in the last uh, four seed, I, I, I trust me, I've I put the Raptors above, above them. I see the Raptors can beat any of them. I think we can beat, uh, we can beat Washington. We can beat the Pacers. We can beat Charlotte. We can beat the Bulls. We can beat Washington. So. Seven, seven for three, win seven of the games out of the ten. We Gucci, man. <laughs> Let's just hope. So, hope y'all like uh, surviving with the craziness of the season. As I said, we're the only team that's actually been on the road the whole season. So, it's been a unique, different, unusual type of season. But we'll see what happens. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. We bowling over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.